the chapter which we are going to do today is changes around us. So, change. So, changes you see every day around us. So, every time you see around yourself, you see many changes taking place. It, uh, suppose last year we, you were in class 5 and today uh, this time you are in class 6. You see many changes within you. Some of you, you might have grown taller, you might, some of you, you might have increased your weight. And not only that, you see many changes around you at your home. Suppose if you have planted a small flower, that flower will bloom. And those are also changes. And though some changes, it takes years and years. Suppose your age. So, if you compare yourself to... If you compare yourself from last year to this year, you will find many changes. So some changes it takes time and some changes it won't be taking time. It will happen instantly. instantaneously. So according to that, there are many changes. Now we are going to see some of the changes which are fast and slow. So, so first we will see some changes which are fast. Suppose the activity given to you out here. Now in this activity you see, uh, suppose you sharp a pencil, so before sharpening the pencil it will be blunt, as soon as you sharp the pencil you find it's sharpening at the edge. So in order to, for, in order for pencil to change from blunt to sharpen, it didn't require much time. So it, it, in, it happened in, in, uh, at instantly, maybe it took uh, a minute or so. These are very fast changes. But there are certain changes which takes time. For instance, your age. The you might have grown in height, you might have grown in your weight. So it will take a year. So according to that, there are two types of changes. That is fast change and slow change. The changes that takes uh, that happens in short duration of time is your fast change, and changes that takes a long time is known as your slow change. Now. There are also certain, there are also different kind of change which are your reversible and irreversible change. Now reversible as the name suggests, it can be reversed back. For example, uh, suppose there is an activity given to you, when you keep a butter in the sun, like there, there is an activity out here, it says that if you keep a butter outside the fridge for some time, what will happen? Now you can try this at home, if you keep the butter, suppose in the sun, for some period of time the butter will melt. And again if you take that butter and keep it inside the fridge, what will happen? You will see that it will again become hard. Now these are your reversible chains. That means it when it kept, when it was kept in sun, it will again be, uh, it will again melt and when it is kept inside the fridge, it will again be hard. So this is your reversible changes. So there are many examples of reversible change. Like the one we, we have done uh, a previous chapter. Uh, we can get salt and sugar that is completely dissolved in liquid by heating. So uh, if you dissolve salt, uh, salt, on, salt and sugar in liquid, so if you heat at certain temperature what will happen? All the liquid will get evaporated and you will only be remaining with uh, salt and sugar particles. So large amount of heat is required. Then we can get back the insoluble substance by sedimentation, decantation and infiltration. So suppose if in, so if, if in liquid you have dissolved some substance which are insoluble. Suppose you can do it this at home. You, you take some mud, water and put some mud inside it and you try, stir it. Afterwards what will happen? They, it will form a, it will look be looking like a muddy liquid. So after some time you keep it, you keep the liquid in that way without touching it then you will find all the dirt will be forming a layer at the bottom and all the clean water will be at top. From that you can remove the clean water. So these are your reversible changes. But there are some changes which are irreversible. Suppose there is an example given to you out here. Suppose your mom is cooking puri at your home. Then while cooking your puri, once she uh, take the dough a flour and she makes a round figure then she put it she puts the puri inside the oil once you make the once you make the puri it's impossible again to get back the dough another example would be your age suppose 
you are, you are 11 years of age and you can if you even if you try you cannot go back to your previous age that means you cannot be uh, uh, if you are 10 years if you are 11 years old you cannot be 10 years old so these are some changes which are uh, which cannot be reversed so these are known as your irreversible change there are many examples given to you what you suppose if you are baking a cake and what are the things required so your yeah, things required are flour egg milk sugar and butter so once you mix all this ingredient and a cake is formed you cannot again after the cake is formed you cannot get back this substance again so you cannot from the cake you cannot get back the egg milk and flour so that's why these are your irreversible changes now change is due to expansion and contraction so expansion means to expand to make to become bigger contract means to shrink so this kind of changes also takes place so especially uh, contraction and expansion can be observed in the material which are made of pure metals uh, like you see during the summer times uh, you you see the telephone wa you uh, you have seen the telephone wires in summer time they are uh, they will look uh, they will be in a hanging position and, uh, and in winter time you will see they will be in straight uh, like you find that during summer and winter the telephone wire will be quite different that is due to uh, expansion and contraction so there are many experiments given to out here suppose this experiment so a ball is there uh, hanging in a chain and there is a, a hole out there before heating the ball the ball can easily pass through the hole after the ball is heated now if you try to uh, pass the ball through the hole it will not be able to pass why because the ball is expanded so ball becomes quite bigger before its normal size that's why it will not be able to pass through the hole this is the reason you observe that whenever the bridge uh, bridges and railway leaks are made some gaps are left between them why because during the summer times those bridges and uh, railway lines which are made of, of iron and steel they tend to expand so if they don't find any gap some cracks will appear in the uh, bridge and uh, railway line so in order to prevent this kind of thing they usually make small gaps between the railway leak and the bridges so while during the summer if they expand those area uh, will help the help the expanded uh, so that uh, during the summer time during the expansion and those gaps will uh, be very useful for them now not only metals but in some cases even liquid and gases they expand so this exhibit this ex uh, experiment will explain us why you can take a bottle in that bottle if you put a balloon at the top and you put that uh, bottle into that bottle should be made out of glass not of plastic so if you put that bottle in a hot water you'll find the balloon expanding and again if you put that bottle in a cold water you find it shrinking now the reason behind is whenever we put that bottle in hot water what will happen because of the uh, rising temperature all the gases inside the all the air inside the bottle it tends to move upward so because of that uh, uh, so because of that all the air will uh, fill up the balloon because of the warm from the because of the heat from the warm water and your balloon will inflate again when you put that uh, bottle into the cold water what will happen all the uh, so what will happen all the bottle it becomes cool and because of that all the gases will against uh, the gases which were rising up they will again fall down uh, they will again come down into the bottle and that's the reason the balloon will shrink so the uh, this was due to expansion and contraction now changes due to state of matter now state of matter there are usually three state of matter that is solid liquid and gas so any matter which you see around yourself it can either be in three states either solid liquid or gas now physical change and chemical change so this physical change and chemical change is related to this matter thing so if a change only occurs 
in its physical substance this is known as your physical change that means only change in only change in the physical appearance that means if it was solid it could have been liquid if it was liquid it could have been gas if, if it was gas it could again be back to liquid and solid so this kind of changes which takes place is only your physical change example your ice suppose your ice is your normal water so if you put that water inside the fridge it will become solid which is your ice and if you again take back those ice and keep it in outside the air for some times it will again become liquid and if that liquid form if you heat at a very high temperature this will be converted into gas so you see that only the only it uh, the changes only takes place in the state but physically it's the same water whether it is in solid liquid or gas so this is known as a physical change now next one chemical changes are those changes in which uh, you uh, the uh, change might uh, uh, every time the change will occur occur in the state but also it will co occur in the uh, chemical component that means once the changes take place in chemical changes you cannot get back the original substance like in physical change whenever one change was made it was always possible possible that you could get back the original substance but in chemical change it's not possible for example burning a hood once you burn the hood uh, and it becomes ashes you cannot again get back the hood again next one is rusting so rusting is a process in which uh, you see a brown flaky substance appear on the iron so once the rusting takes place it will uh, uh, it will hamper the quality of the iron so it will no longer be strong again so once rusting takes place it's not possible to get again the iron uh, which uh, it was previously so that's why these are your uh, they are these uh, chemical changes is also your irreversible change so with this we end the chapter and the students they can do this one select the correct answer and this one question number four so question number four and they can also do this question number three so this with this we end the chapter thank you